guys, my name is Becky. And Kelsey. And we are the Sora Girls. If you don't already know that, why don't you know you that? Why don't you know that? <laughs> so, for this week's DIY, we did something a little different than we've done before, but it turned out really well. So yeah. That's awesome. I'd say so. Sorry, my face was just like scary looking because it was a little scary. It's intimidating. Let's put it that way. So, we made these concrete planters. Um, it's the first time we ever worked with concrete, but it's really easy and turned out great. Yeah, I like it. I'm gonna do more things with concrete. So here's how you make our concrete planter. For this here DIY, you're gonna need some recycled materials. And we went through our neighbor's garbage guys. So we use a sand concrete. Um, it's one of the finest concretes you can buy. And we just put it in this container for ease of use. And your mixture ratio is going to be one part water, four parts concrete. So for example, we use two cups of concrete and half a cup of water for this portion. And we just mixed it using a container we didn't care about, once again, recycled material, and a stick we didn't care about, and mix it around until you get a peanut butter consistency. Now we're going to fill it into our container, so we're using this juice jug as our planter bottom. And then you're going to take an object to place in it. We use this Tim's cup and it's gonna kinda wanna float, so put something heavy in there and just keep an eye on it, make sure that it's not floating to the top. For our other container, we're using a Haagen-Dazs ice cream container and this metal and cardboard juice container. And side note, don't use metal, use uh, cardboard instead because that metal piece is now stuck in the bottom of our planter, which is totally cool, but it might not work for some other objects that you're trying to DIY. And once again, a uh, weight to keep it in place. You can wipe off any extra concrete that might be oozing out. So you want to let that set for about 24 hours and once it's dry, go ahead and rip off the cardboard. And again, take off the cardboard from the inside. And it should look something like this. It's still a little dark because it's going to continue to dry once it's out of the cardboard. All right, now we're going to paint it and we decided to do this painting on an angle. And just make sure that the tape is on the same angle on both sides. We did the same thing for our small planter and the bottom portion is the part that we're going to be painting. Our next step is to take some craft paper or extra scrap paper you have and just cover any portions that you do not want to get covered in paint. So we use some chalkboard paint because we want it to have a matte finish, not necessarily because we want to use it as a chalkboard. And we just did an even coat on both items and that was done. So once you take off your tape and paper, it should look like this. So now to actually use it as a planter, you're going to want to get a plant of some sort. We chose this cactus, came from Ikea, it's really cheap. So start by using some soil, this is special cactus soil, and fill up your planter. And then take your little cactus and place them inside, and then use extra soil to fill around the edges. It might get a bit messy, but you can just clean off the cement when you're done. And when it's done, it should look something like this. So these are awesome because they can be great for gifts, they can be great for your house, and they're kind of masculine in a way depending on what color you spray paint them. Mm -hmm. So it's a good gift for your man. Yeah, the concrete's real rustic, and that is in right now, I found. I found that. Yes, like concretes and like metals, Rustic metals, things that you used to not want in your house, now you're like, it's oh, that thing is so ugly and old and gross. It's hey, beautiful. like this, we found this in the garbage. It's, you know, a useless old uh, window frame. Before you'd be like, don't bring that in my house, it has bed bugs. And now we're like, art. So thanks so much guys for watching this video. And hope you liked it. We kind of want to do some other things with concrete, so let us know if you want to 
see more ways you can use concrete now that you have this entire bag of concrete that you need to use up. Yeah, let us know in the description some ideas you'd like to see. Just in the description? I always say that. You do always say that. So let us know in the comments if there's any ideas you have that we could do with the concrete that you guys want to see us do, or just like the video in general so we know you want to see more. It looks like this. All right, we will see you guys next week, or in the meantime, head over to our vlog channel to check out more of us. Because we post there sometimes. We do. We actually post there a lot. Yeah. Yay. All right, see you next week. Bye. Bye.